Welcome to Learn to Live Stress-Free. This is Christine Wright with Dr. Robert Wright, Jr. of www.stressfreenow.info. Hi, this is Dr. Bob coming to you today from Juneau, Alaska. As you can see, it is not sunny, but this is a majestic place to visit. And I want you to consider putting Alaska at the top of your travel bucket list. I've been many, many places, and this uh, Alaska is just um, so amazing to see. It's not just that the air is fresh, and it's not just uh, that they're wild animals. It gives you a sense of what uh, planet Earth could have looked like in populated areas when the glaciers were uh, had come down, you know, over 10,000 years ago. And so uh, uh, it is just to see the waterfalls, to, 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 to meet some of the native uh, people, uh, to see totem poles. Uh, uh, a lot of people have been rushing to see bears, but since I live in the Poconos, I, I see enough bears. But um, the thing is, uh, you have lots of eagles here. And so uh, there are many people, um, you know, the, the eagles, the falcons, and all kinds of, uh, of course, there's whales, and, 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 and it is just, just an amazing uh, thing. And so, uh, okay, so why come on an Alaska cruise? Well, the thing is, the best part about a cruise is that it's basically all-inclusive. You know, when you go on a regular vacation, you, you, you've got to pay separately for your food and, and um, you know, uh, and, and all the other things that, that, that you've got to pay for, the parking, et cetera. And so one of the things I love about taking cruises is that you only have to pack and unpack once. And so I don't know about you. I don't have any uh, packing anxiety, but many people do. I've been um, so startled to, to, to learn that many people, that actually, uh, um, the packing and transiting the airport is actually the, the toughest part of a vacation for them. You know, especially if they it's the first time they go on a cruise, they don't know what to wear or to bring, or if, it's gonna, if they're gonna get seasick, et cetera. And so let me address that issue, uh, seasickness. Um, I could tell you that the, 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 the ships that they have today, um, most of the time you hardly even feel the motion. It is amazing uh, what the technology, had, how it has advanced. The first cruise I took uh, was in 1980 and a very different uh, experience. That was a Costa ship. And I remember the food was fantastic. The service was great, but we were bobbing up and down. When I take a cruise these days, sometimes I don't even know um, whether we're in port, not moving, or et cetera. Now, of course, there are times when you do hit rough seas, but that is a very small uh, percentage, unless, you know, maybe you're taking a cruise like a transatlantic cruise during, the, you know, the, the tough time, and then those waves can be pretty high and rough. So I'm not downplaying it. So uh, some people do have issues with um, uh, motion sickness, but... Um, I, I, it's, it's very rare for me to, to, to meet people uh, these days compared to in the past, you know, even 10 years ago. Um, so the thing is, there, there, there are many things that people do, you know, uh, but I, I don't want to um, uh, 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 spend too much time on that. I just want to uh, let you know that um, if you've never cruised before, um, do yourself a favor, start doing your homework. Um, you know, unless you have a fear of the water or, um, you know, um, you, you, you have a reluctant spouse who doesn't want to do a cruise, etc. So um, many people find themselves in the same situation as, as I am. You know, I've been traveling alone. You know, my wife died five years ago unexpectedly. And so I lost my travel partner. And so one of the things that I've bumped up against is that, you know, the... Um, the, the dreaded single supplement where you're paying for an extra invisible passenger. And so um, that's something that um, I'm loath to do. And so um, 
you know, I look for cruises where, you know, the single supplement is minimal or non-existent. So that means that there are a lot of cruises that I won't go on because I refuse to pay extra. I don't know about you. I don't like paying extra. And this is how I think about it. When you check into a hotel, do they charge you extra if, if you're in the hotel room by yourself versus two people? No. So this is part of the, the leisure business travel industry. And so that's how they've been doing it. So, um, so the bottom line is that the get demographics have changed. There are more single people now than there were before. And there's more of single people traveling. So for example, I'm gonna be doing a around the world trip next year. And I actually uh, had preferred to, um, I wouldn't have done that trip uh, or I wouldn't be doing that trip um, if I could, could get the pricing on the cruises that I want. I wanted to cruise from, you know, to fly into uh, Doha, Qatar, and then cruise down to, to the Seychelles and then to Mauritius and then down to Madagascar and to uh, Johannesburg and Cape Town, South Africa and then take uh, a series of uh, cruises where the prices were really, really good. Um, um, you know, on one end, on the, 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 the west coast of Africa to, to, to see those countries, and then on the east coast of Africa to see those countries. And, and so, um, and then there was a repositioning cruise that went from uh, Cape Town to Barcelona. Repositioning cruises are really fun. Um, uh, what a repositioning cruise is, is a one-way cruise. And so this is when the cruise lines are shifting around their ships. And so this cruise was going to go from, I think it was March 20th, 2024, from Barcelona, or maybe it's March 25th, uh, to Barcelona with uh, lots of really cool stops, you know, stopping in Gambia, the Cape Verde Islands, etc. cetera. So, um, so I'm not doing that. So I'm doing a, a regular around the world trip, transiting airports, et cetera. So, um, so the thing is we have to make choices based on our budget as is as simple as that. And so that's what, that's what I've done. But my preference would be, you know, um, to, to, to have crews and, um, uh, because they're those countries in Africa I really wanted to see. And so instead I'm getting the consolation prize, which is a around the world trip. So, um, so, um, I'm, I'm feeling okay, but the bottom line is that cruising offers a tremendous opportunity and I've met so many people who are getting free cruises uh, because they play in the casino. You know, they have casino offers just like when you go to Las Vegas and uh, Atlantic City, et cetera. So I don't gamble anymore. So I learned my lesson <laughs> over 10 years ago and that was it for me. But, you know, let's face it. There are many people out here, they love to gamble, they gamble a lot. And, and so, so if you're going to gamble anyway, you might as well get in free cruise offers, right? So that's one way to get a free cruise offer. Anyway, if you want to learn more about how to get the uh, travel deals, including cruise travel deals, you'll have to uh, check out my membership uh, site. So this is Dr. Bob coming to you today from Juneau, Alaska. And I'm just going to do a little pan to give you uh, a little more flavor of what Juneau is like. So it, it is just, um, you know, I have enjoyed um, this trip so very much and it is just breathtaking. And just so you know, the video uh, footage doesn't do justice to, uh, to what it's like to be here in person. Um, I have uh, been looking at some of the videos on the camera and then um, I'll step outside onto the deck and I'll go, whoa, look at that. I got to get a picture of that or I've got to get you some video footage that the, the, the actual experience of, 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 of being in a place like Alaska just totally supersedes 
anything that you could see in a video. So this is meant to be an appetizer for you that, that, that just to give you an idea. Um, and, and we are in, uh, southeastern Alaska. Alaska is huge and it's also connected to the Canadian side, the Yukon. And so, um, I want to encourage you to consider putting Alaska on your travel bucket list. And I, I'm, I am on a Norwegian ship. This is the Norwegian Jewel. And, um, I have to give the, the ship it, it's, it's due props. Uh, the food on this cruise has been some of the best food, period. Not just the cruise. Uh, uh, I've been very, very, very happy uh, with the food on this ship and the service on this ship uh, has been outstanding. The room service, uh, although it's not free on this ship, it's only eleven ninety five dollars uh, plus 20% gratuity. And I got to tell you, it is well, well worth it. And so how good is the food on this ship? Well, I have not even thought of going to any of the premium restaurants here where you pay a little extra. Normally on a cruise, um, when I first came across the premium restaurants, I said, well, why would anybody pay extra to, you know, when the food is free? Well, when I tried some of the premium restaurants, I said, whoa, okay, very nice. Well, the regular food here in the Lido restaurant, it's the Garden uh, Cafe, um, I felt no need to, um, I haven't even been to the main dining room. That's how good the food is on the Lido. Um, the Indian food, the Mexican food, and uh, even the pizza, I'm like, wow, they, they've done a really, really, really good job. And so um, if you want to have some uh, uh, good food, come sail on the Norwegian Gem. <laughs> and I think um, once they end the, uh, the Alaska series, they head over to the Far East. Uh, they, they, they sail out of Seattle to Tokyo, and then the, they're going to be doing the Far East, going to the Philippines and, and other places. Places. So in any event, this is Dr. Bob signing off from Juneau, Alaska, and wishing you well. And remember to hit that like button so that um, uh, you can get more of our videos and subscribe. Until next time from Stress Free Now Podcast, be safe and be well.